just a moment, I would like to focus your attention on a tragic epidemic facing our force right now. As many of you may know, we have been fighting constant battle on the home front for several years now. This is not a battle won with bullets or mere show of force. Instead, this is a battle won with attention to and a concern for everyone who has ever worn a uniform. The epidemic I speak of is suicide. It's a disturbing fact that our military veterans are killing themselves at an average of 22 suicides per day. In 2013, the rate of National Guard soldiers committing suicide exceeded that of all other branches of the United States military. Sadly, soldiers from the Kentucky National Guard have also fallen victim. It really hits home when we lose one of our own. Each suicide rattles our organization from the individual's unit all the way to the state headquarters. They serve as a reminder that this tragedy can strike at any moment. And they force us to question if we could have done something more to change the outcome. The life of every soldier is important, and the happiness of every soldier's family is important. As a most senior enlisted soldier in the Kentucky Army National Guard, I'm calling on you to help put a stop to these horrific trends. Just as on the battlefield, our NCOs and enlisted soldiers are the front lines of this fight. Suicide affects more soldiers in the rank of E1 through E4 than any other group. These soldiers are your peers, your battle buddies, and your friends. No one is in a better position to take on this enemy than you, but rest assured, you are not alone in your efforts. The leadership of the Kentucky National Guard is walking the gauntlet alongside you to put an end to soldier and veteran suicide. We are constantly developing and testing new resources that will help our soldiers and family members overcome the suicide epidemic. We are providing training geared toward helping our troops recognize the warning signs of suicide and show them how to ask for help when they feel overwhelmed by life. We open our doors to counsel and mentor those who ask for it. In short, we are making the care of our soldiers top priority. Not one single soldier will be left to fend for themselves under my watch. But we need to know who needs help before we can do anything, and that's where you come in. It's not always easy to know what is going on in a troubled soldier's life, but it can be done. We're depending on you for the concern and the well-being of our brothers and sisters in uniform that you will know when something is wrong and someone's life could be in danger. It's no different than being a battle buddy on a combat mission, and the stakes are just as high. The training you're about to receive will teach you about the warning signs for someone who may be suicidal and how to get them help. We can't allow any more soldiers to suffer in silence. People are at risk, and you can help save them. I want to personally thank you for everything you do to make our Kentucky National Guard family safer, stronger, and better able to accomplish our mission. I am proud of each and every one of you, and I am honored to be your State Command Sergeant Major.